I've been using AI text to video to literally double the performance of my social media ads, and I'm not the only one doing this. There are a ton of people using AI text tools to make images and videos for their ad creatives, and some of these ads seem to be really high performers. And it's not just limited to ads. You can also use some of these tools, and I'll show you how in just a moment, step by step, how to use a free tool that was just released on the market that makes amazing viral social video ads, which you could use to get both free and paid traffic. Now, most people, including me, have been using a tool called Runway ML to make their AI text to video content. It's an awesome tool. That is not the one we're gonna talk about today. We've spoken about that a lot on the channel and you can see more about that. I've done an extensive training on how to use Runway ML to make really cool viral videos but it's not free. It's actually a paid service, it's a really good one. And there is another tool I wanna to show you today that is free. This text to video competitor that I'm gonna show you today produces similar quality and I think sometimes even better quality content and it's completely free to use. That's right, you can make the same AI content that we're using in our very own ads and you can do it completely free with Pika Labs. Okay, you get the idea. And then also uh, on the Pika Twitter profile, you can see lots of examples of simple text to video that, that literally anyone can make with zero technical experience. You see that video right there? Beautiful, right? You can make that with no technical experience at all following the simple instructions that I'm gonna give you in just a moment. There's another example, that's pretty interesting. There's one there. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty. So all of these are made with this simple tool that's just text. You just tell it what you want and it makes the video for you. And so what we do is we make these short little videos and we string them together. So we'll have little strings of anywhere from three to 10 second videos and we string them together into a single ad and we'll put text overlay over it. We'll have audio that we add as well. And uh, that's how we generate our ads. Like you've probably seen some of the ads that I play on this very channel. So these are examples of what can be created using this tool. So let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to pika.art. So you can either use Pika inside a chat tool called Discord. If you're familiar with Discord, it's just a chat tool and you can chat with it just like you can using some of the other AI tools. There's a tool called Midjourney that you can use using a Discord, like a chat server. But I recommend you just create an account on pika.art and do it right in your browser. It's the simplest, easiest way to do it. And Pika allows you to create AI video from text. So if you put together what's called a prompt, which is just instructions and you just tell Pika what you want and it will actually make it. And you have two choices. First, you can take an image of anything, upload it to Pika and tell it to animate that picture. Or you can do what's called a text prompt. And so with that, you just tell it what you want and it will create it. Now for text prompts, it's a really simple structure. So what we do is we first tell it what our medium is, meaning like, how do we want it to look? Do we want it to look like a cinematic film, 3D animation, 2D animation, an oil painting, and whatever that might be. Then we tell it the style. We want it to look like an action film, a drama film. You can talk about specific filmmakers or genres of movies or themes. Also, you next tell it what scene you want. And you just do this in plain, simple English. It's really simple to get started. So you can see all of these images were made using the simple text to speech. Get a diver with some very strange looking alien sea creatures, a smiling coffee cup, 
Anyway, so you just describe it. So we're gonna say we want a photorealistic action movie of a man riding a motorcycle through a cyberpunk modern city with blue buildings. So it's that simple. Now there are some options. So we could just click the little image there and it would start making it. But I want to show you again how you can customize these. Notice these down here, we have these little sliders. So if you click that, you can tell it how close to the text do you want it to be versus how creative do you want it to be? So it could be creative and, and make it really unique. You can also do what's called a you negative suck. prompt. So if there's anything in here that you don't want to appear, you can put it in here. So um, we could put that there. The next thing, the little video thing, these are your motion controls. Do you want it to be panning, zooming, rotating? So what we can do is we can have it zoom out. And then how much motion do you want? So I'm gonna put it up to a two. So you can dial it way up and have lots of motion or way back and have hardly any motion. Now, the next thing you can do is under video options. Do you want a widescreen video? Do you want a tall, like a selfie style video, a square video? There are all these options, okay? We're gonna go with widescreen. Frames per second, we're gonna leave it at eight and then we're gonna click the little button. Now it submitted it. See, it says your video will start generating soon two seconds later. Oh, there we go. It finished right there. So there is the image we just created. A little, little odd. We can retry and it'll just rerun it or we could try a new and different prompt. So let's do a retry and I'm just going to hit the button and submit it. And so when you do find one you like, the next thing you can do is extend it and make the clip longer. There's a little thing you can just click to extend it and it'll make a four second video turned into an eight second. You can make it longer and longer in length. And so what we do is we'll make a series of scenes and then we use that to make our videos. We might stitch together anywhere from five to 10 different short little scenes that we make using this tool. And then that becomes our viral ad. I would recommend, by the way, while we're waiting for this to finish rendering, that if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do that now. You'll see a link somewhere down below to subscribe and follow us so that you can be notified every time we have new content to the channel. And over here on YouTube, we have a, a whole library of content and I broke down in great detail what we do. So once we've used Pika and we've made our scenes, if you'd like to learn how to actually turn that into a fully finished video, including audio, music, a voiceover, captions on the screen, how we put it all together and output it as an actual ad. There's a complete video training on that on the channel. So let's take a look and see what Pika came up with. Okay, well, that's uh, a little different. And here's another one here. Got a guy and a gal driving through a modern city. And as you see here, here's one I did of Bodhi. I just uploaded a picture of Bodhi, um, my golden retriever, and asked it to animate it. So you can see it shows him panting and his little Santa hat moving around. So, and there's a bunch of other features. There's also something called in painting. Like you can see here, I did this where I put sunglasses on this, uh, on this Pika. So you'll notice once you've created a video, what you can do is we can add four seconds. See that there? So if we, li we like it, we want to extend it. And then from there, you can adjust it and improve it. And so there you go. That is Pika.art. And I would highly recommend that you check out the other video on our channel where you can see what you do with these little scenes. You make these little four to 10 second scenes using Pika.art and you assemble a complete social viral video out of it. And there's complete training on how you do that. You'll see that again down below in the description and we'll pop that out for everyone to watch. Like always, subscribe, give this a like if you uh, are got value out of this video. Like it, subscribe, and we'll see you on our next live broadcast. So for those of you who are not yet a Push Button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Pushbutton AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top 
everything you need from your domain name to your logo, to videos, to audio lessons, an entire course that you can sell as your own, a 30 day email sequence and it writes, you can send a daily email for 30 days, all written by AI and a whole lot more. It writes your sales page. If you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff, it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, Push Button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. there. You'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you, and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business.